this video, we will discuss the new enhancements in CSI Bridge version 25.1.0. Let's take a look at the enhancements. In the bridge modeler, bottom flange longitudinal stiffeners can now be specified for steel u girder bridges using the steel beam editor. We'll go through an example of this. For bridge design and rating, superstructure design of precast box girders, according to the AASHTO have been added, as well as comprehensive calculation reports for multi-cell concrete box girder bridges for Eurocode. Performance enhancements have been made to improve the speed, reduce memory while recovering results. And finally, signing licensing is now available in CSI Bridge. We'll take a look at how that's implemented. Let's take a look at these bottom flange longitudinal stiffeners. These can be defined from the bridge menu. If we click on spans, under the bridge object span assignments, we'll click on steel beam definitions. Now there's a tab for longitudinal stiffeners. So the bottom flange longitudinal stiffeners can be specified for these u girder bridges. They're counted for in the analysis as well as superstructure, strength design, and rating requests. Stiffeners are specified for beam panels, which are displayed graphically in the form based on lateral supports affecting the beam. So for this longitudinal stiffener layout definition, as you see here, users now have the ability to define the longitudinal start and end positions, transverse ratios, orientation and insertion point location. So if we click on bottom flange, we'll leave the longitudinal positioning as is. You have the ability to select the frame property, orientation, as well as insertion point. If we take a look at the legend, this will show you the definition for the orientation. So you can see cardinal points, top, middle, and bottom are located as shown here, as well as offset values. And you can see axis three and two can be defined as shown in the image here. So for side, we'll click on bottom flange, insertion point, we'll leave it in the middle, and we have to click on add. And you can see the stiffener has now been added here. There are some unique copy mirror tools located in the top portion of the dialog box. Here, you have the ability to copy the defined stiffener to different locations in the model. So in this case, we'll select left exterior girder, which was defined, and we'll click on all spans, and we'll select the specific components, in this case, the longitudinal stiffeners. Click OK. Successfully copied. And now if we click OK again, we'll see that the stiffeners have been included in the model. Now if I zoom in, you can see that the stiffeners have been added. Let's take a look at this in the DirectX view. Just gonna make some of these area objects and remove them from the selection so you can see the stiffeners a little more easily. So if I zoom in, you can see the stiffeners have been included here on the bottom flange for all portions of the model. Next, we'll take a look at a precast box girder bridge. Users now have the ability to utilize superstructure design for precast box girder bridges according to the AASHTO codes in CSI Bridge 25.1.0. So underneath the design tab, if we take a look at code preferences, you can see now that the latest AASHTO LRFD 2020 code has been embedded, and you can see the other earlier versions of the AASHTO are included in here as well. There are some design amendments that can be updated and selected as well. If we click on design requests, you can see that the specified design requests have been predefined. If we take a look at a couple of these, this one for flexure, you can see design request for AASHTO LRFD 2020. And these are the different objects as well as check types that can be performed. Next, comprehensive calculation reports for multi-cell concrete box girder bridge according to Eurocode have been added. Users can now view detailed calculations for flexural demands and flexural resistance for the Eurocode, which include illustrations and diagrams for each specific girder. So let's take a look at this. So under uh, Code Preferences, this time we'll select Eurocode, click OK, and we'll quickly run the analysis and design. Once the analysis has been run, we'll go ahead and run the design for the superstructure. Once the design is complete, now we have the ability to view the design report. We click on the Report button here. Here is the design report dashboard. You have the ability to select specific object names as well as request names, specific section cuts, specific girders. So the user has complete control 
of what they wish to have included in the report. Here we can create a Word document. Let's take a look at the report that was generated. Here is a multi-cell concrete box. We have a summary of moment demands. And if we scroll down here a little bit, we can take a look at some diagrams. Here we have the flexural capacity for the left exterior girder. It is showing all the detailed information in regards to girder capacity, positive flexure, as well as a figure showing all the detailed information. Girder capacity and negative flexure as well. So this complete report can be generated quite quickly, giving the user complete control as to what they wish to have included. Next, let's talk about the CSI Cloud Sign-In Licensing. Cloud Sign-In Licensing greatly simplifies licensing while offering greater security and flexibility. So if we take a look at the options included for Cloud Sign-In, what are some of the advantages? Accessing CSI software using individual secure sign-in credentials, no more activation keys, license available anywhere with internet access, the ability to remotely terminate a user's active license session by a customer account administrator. Also the option to control user's access to the licenses by defining custom license groups. Okay, so what is a license group? A license group is essentially defined as a set of licenses and a list of users who have access to those specific licenses. This allows customers flexibility and control over the licenses by limiting license access by user. So cloud sign-in licensing is now available in CSI Bridge 25.1.0, as well as SAP 2000 version 25.1.0.